Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are gonna be trying to solve a mystery that I think is pretty interesting. So the other day, I got a message from one of you guys on Facebook saying I should check out this graveyard in New Austin. And sometimes you guys will message me and there's something that I've already covered on the channel. And many a times I'll say, hey, you know, I've, I've featured this in a video already. You know, check it out, it's on my channel. This is the title of the video. But this individual said, no, wait a minute, Mr. Boss, you should check out this graveyard again because there's something in there, something in there that Jack Marston actually created. So I was thinking, how did something that Jack Marston create end up in a graveyard in New Austin? So I wanted to see just how that came about. And in order to get some background on this, we need to start a mission in Chapter 2 called A Fisher of Men, where Arthur takes Jack fishing. Ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Okay, so in my opinion, this is one of the better missions in the game. Not only do you unlock the fishing rod, which is quite useful, but it's also a pretty wholesome, fun mission where Arthur enjoys himself and has a good time. And a little bit during the fishing adventure, Jack says he's bored and wants to do something else. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. So Jack says he is going to go pick some flowers and ultimately create a necklace for his mother. And we see what this necklace looks like right before Agent Milton and Agent Ross show up and sort of intimidate Arthur. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. Getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Okay, so Agent Milton and Agent Ross showed up and they tried to intimidate Jack and Arthur. And then it is time to return to camp where Jack and Arthur deliver the necklace that Jack made to Abigail. And you see her ultimately take it. There you are. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish. 
And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Okay, so as far as our knowledge goes, Abigail is the last person that has the necklace, which at the end of the day is a pretty simple necklace. Looks like it was threaded together with grass and flowers. But again, let's go check out this graveyard. This graveyard is hidden, or kind of hidden, in between Armadillo and Tumbleweed. And it's a little settlement called Oddfellow's Rest. I'm not sure if that name is significant, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, on one of the graves you can see there, you will find a wooden cross. And on the right-hand side of the wooden cross, if you're facing it, you'll find the same necklace that Jack made for Abigail. So how did this necklace get here? Well, I have a couple of theories. My first theory is that sometime down the line, when Abigail and Jack and John sort of move around the world between 1899 and 1907, she placed the necklace there. Although I feel like that's less likely because why would she give away a necklace that her son specifically made for her. You'd think that's something she would want to keep, especially because we don't see any names that look to be related to the Marston family on that grave. In fact, we can't see any names at all. So I'm starting to rule that out a little bit. It doesn't make sense. The second theory is that Abigail lost the necklace and it was found by someone that ultimately placed it on that grave. Now this theory starts to lose a little bit of weight because it's a flower necklace. There's a good chance it wouldn't have lasted more than a couple of days, a couple of weeks, nonetheless a couple of years, where it would be found in the desert, baking in the hot sun. So again, I think there's a good chance that that's not the case. I think the most likely theory here is that this, and this is the least fun theory of the entire bunch, is that this is a just a reused asset from Rockstar. The same necklace that Jack creates for Abigail was just used for another purpose to, I guess, commemorate the fact that there was ultimately a grave here. That's the best thing I can think of. Because getting back to my point earlier, there isn't a name on the grave. There isn't anything that tells us who it's for or who is buried there. The place is called Oddfellow's Rest, and a lot of these graves are pretty funny in terms of their either name or like the reason for their death. So I wonder, again, if it's just a coincidence, if this is Rockstar just reusing assets, or if somehow, someway, Jack's necklace ended up making its way all the way to New Austin. That would be pretty impressive. Now, if it is my third theory, this would not be the first time in which Rockstar has done something like this, especially when it comes to a pretty specific item. Like, it's pretty obvious that some items are going to be used over again in Red Dead Redemption 2, but I wasn't so sure about mission-specific items, like that necklace that Jack gives to Abigail. Well, we see another example of this just north of San Denis. In sort of Blue Water Marsh in Black Bell's Swamp House, uh, you can actually find something that looks really similar. It's a hat. Now, that hat is sitting on what I think is like a coat rack or something along those lines. Does that hat look similar? Well, it should because that is John Marston's classic hat. The one he gets in Epilogue Part 2 and the one that he wears in Red Dead Redemption. So that is a one-of-a-kind hat that's just randomly hanging about in this gunslinger's house. Now again, why is that there? Is it pure coincidence? Is this Rockstar reusing some assets? Or was John Marston at this location at one point in time? The only time I could see him actually being there is that time where he took sort of a one year break from the gang. But why would he choose to go to San Denis and why would he hang out in a known gunslinger's swamp location? That just doesn't seem like John Marston. So again, I think our mystery is solved here because Rockstar is ultimately just reusing assets. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, especially with the lore of the game and the lore of the story to have these mission items used in multiple different cases, but I think this is Rockstar just placing things in buildings and spots to make them look more realistic. Again, I'm not too sure what to make of this. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments down below what you think ultimately happened. 
to not only John's hat, why it's in here, Jack's necklace, why it showed up there. And do you think that there's a bigger mystery here that I haven't looked at or haven't even covered? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.